so peaceful. Lights are still green, by the way. <laughs> so peaceful. I hope the snails and the slugs and it'd be really nice. I'll see the foxes out in a bit. They get a bit wet though. But yeah. My empty garden. The uh, residents here are actually complaining about the fact that um, the staff are using the community centre down there and um, they're basically just sitting in there having coffees and just chatting normally and the residents are getting really fucked off with it, like major fucked off with it and Harry, one of our residents here who is a proper old veteran <laughs> and is starting to drink and it's really unfortunate that quite a lot of people here are starting to drink now. Um, it is, it, it, it's a sad old affair but it's a good thing, there's great stuff going to come from this, it's the path that we as an individual chooses to take through this time. I believe in Great Britain, it's three weeks continuous lockdown, Donald Trump is opening up but as I've said he is doing it I mean, amazingly, he's basically said to everybody, yeah, okay, if there's a massive big crisis, if there's a massive big, if, if, if there's a massive big crisis, as the Who has said, then it's all there and, and we're talk to any country, we're even Mexico, everything, you know, and he agrees that he was right to shut the borders down on China. Um, Sweden is, in, and, and, and all these places are pushing massively about the impact of, of 5G. Um, you know, you've got to connect the dots yourself. You can't listen to me. You can't just say, hey, Kelly Cotton, you know, sat there and said, um, you, you know, that, that back last year that, you know, she was trying to decide what country to go and sit herself in when lockdown came and, you know, and, and, and how did she sort of know that lockdown was coming? It's because there's patterns in everything. There's patterns in everything. And uh, hello there, Maria. There's patterns in everything. There's, 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 there's stuff in everything. And at the end of the day, like I said to you, back in 2007, I was in the room. And, and basically, as I keep trying to explain to you, is when somebody becomes self-employed, they become self-employed because they have an idea. They have a vision. They have a... Um, uh, something that they want to achieve, something they want to create, something they want to build, something they want people to basically invest in this product so they can do the research, put the time in and, and complete the, the thing. People do it with books, you know, the same as authors. If you get a published author and a signed contract, then basically they'll give you a lump sum up to sit there and write the book and then you're on royalties and commission, they make shit loads of money out of you and, and you don't really see a penny really from your books. Um, I'm, 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 I don't want to think out aloud today because I'm a little bit concerned about tomorrow and I really need to take some time to do some serious research on whether I want to watch this and interject on the energy and go face to face with, with the devil himself tomorrow and dance with the devil with my tail between the legs and really intercede on something that is very horrible tomorrow or whether or not I want to just take the boys out and completely shut away from any form of anybody sharing any information about this six hour concert tomorrow that I just want absolutely nothing to do with and I'm petrified that Aaron and Faith are going to be watching it because Lewis Hamilton is going to be um, you know involved in it and um, Lady Gaga of course is heading it and you know you've got the Oprah Winfrey's and the names that are obviously involved in Epstein and, and, and when I say connect the dots I mean please be careful, be careful what you want to know. Some people you just need to close your door, be in your house and just play chess <laughs> with, you, with your kids or with, with you know play get backgammon, get a connect four board game, get some candles, get some you know stay away from takeaways you know stay away from obesity, stay away from getting fat in your flat, stay away from you know your Domino's pizzas, stay away from all these takeaways that are opening up for you so you can sit in your home and order your takeaway and, and plow your universal credits back into the owners of these fucking Egypt shitty crap stuff that that's going on so 
you know be wise people be wise be diligent like seriously just take the time take the time out of the reruns of things that you're watching and, and now you're in this time of boredom and confusion and think you're going fucking crazy just literally just sit there with a pen and paper and just literally go ah you know where were we back in sort of like Halloween per se last year and what was going on around Halloween okay where was I Halloween last year okay Halloween last year I was here and then okay say okay China what happened in China and literally just Google China and look at all their politics look at their technology look at everything and then just write down everything that happened then and then from China just literally map everything across and go and look back to Great Britain and then look in your own area and then look at all the things around it. You've got the time to do it. It's not going to take you long, to be honest, because there's enough research there. It's not going to be there for much longer because, you know, Google, Bill Gates, I mean, he's, he's, he's winning to knock us out. He's taking us out. If he makes a martyr of me, he's fucking stupid and he knows it because my fingers are in pies. I'm not just a council house mum sitting here that, you know, you could shoot me at this. Look you could literally sit up at that big ben clock tower and you you could you you could you could sit in the top of top of the town hall right now if you really i don't know what a long shoots and how long a thing costs somebody could sit up the top there fuck's sake someone could take me out from that nice tower up the top there um you know if, if it, it Look, at the end of the day, it's not conspiracy, is it? You know, just the Savile shit. Look what they did to Jill Dando. Um, I, I've, 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 I've caused more fucking chaos to these people than Jill Dando ever did. Um, fact, you know. But your people don't see me because, or listen to me, or watch me because they've got me so grounded down by trolls. They've got me so down. I've got. I mean, I've got ten and more legal. <clears throat> draconian gagging orders on me to prevent me talking about District Judge Andrew Shaw kidnapping Aaron and Faith, um, my two children, on the 13th of December 2012, done by PC Stephen Lewis and Cheryl Osbelin, social worker from Milo Hospital in um, Wrexham, um, Flinty County Council in, in North Wales. Fuck your gags. Um, you know, you've got my children, I want them back. And And at the end of the day,